Hello, this is Peppertert. I am doing a batch scripting tutorial. Batch scripting tutorial. Uh, Windows. So, this is actually not going to be a scripting tutorial. I'm just going to show off a script that I made. And this will actually be the closing of my batch script programming. Or however I labeled it. Uh, why? Because either there's not enough hype or... Um, honestly I could have made some time for it I just never got around so this is a this is a good roundup um, pretty cool script it takes uh, integer and makes it binary and hexadecimal as a bonus um, this can be pretty useful to you um, it only goes up to Well, I don't remember. It's uh, limited to however much DOS can get get a number. You know how big they can give you a number. However, it doesn't have to be. You can modify the script so that it handles any number you could possibly give it. Um, and do you know why? It's well, I might be incorrect in that. I'd have to do a little bit of tinkering, I guess. But anyway. Uh, this is uh, how to use it. Let's uh, just go into using it. Two binaries, the script name, and if you know anything about binary, uh, 10 is not exactly how it looks. <laughs> this is 10 binary. Uh, why? Hmm. Binary is... Uh, just another accounting system as is hex it's base 2 hex is base 16 uh, base 10 is our good old integers why uh, I'm not going to explain that too much but I'll tell you hmm yeah I'm not going to explain that yeah I'll explain that geez uh, base base one, uh, the highest number is one. So, what do you do? You set that back down to zero and put a, add a one. It's just like our counting. You know, when you get up to nine, you put it back to zero and put a one over here. And when both of these become nine, nine nine, then you set those back to zero and put a 1 over here, right? I guess I could say plus 1. Oh, whoa, whoa! Anyway. Uh, so binary is much the same. You know, after you, uh, after these are 1, you send them back to 1, and now this is 4. Whoa, I said 4. That's correct. And then you set all these back to 0, and this is 8. Uh, why that is true? Well, pick up a book or something. Or YouTube. I'm sure they got some good good explanations there. Um, same with hex, except hex uh, actually uses letters after it runs out of digits. So A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, F is 16, I'm pretty sure. Exciting. Uh, so the script is large, it's uh, messy, and it uses some very terrible programming uh, yeah programming I mean it's just messy uh, generally programmers are supposed to make things beautiful and easily comprehended by the masses and not something that he wants to go back to and say not so it needs to be something he can go back to and enjoy modifying it this this mess I I do I do not enjoy trying to modify as you can see it's been a while so I don't know I'm, I'll tell you this is going to be uploaded to Dropbox and I'll have the link in the description and it'll probably just be a you know have fun with it 
because I'm not going to do a whole lot of explaining. Feel free to comment, you know, say, hey, what is going on? I might try to help. Uh, it is my mess. However, um, this is also why I didn't want to post it because it's a mess and I did want to rather choppy commenting. I wanted to comment a little better or uh, just make it a little neater. Anyway, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to... I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you how it works. Because I don't want to go through all the script. Really. I uh, say, say so, so. So these are our variables. F binary hex and hex. And how they work is at the end of the script, they accumulate uh, the binary. Pretty cool. And same as hex. Right. Uh, so they just accumulate the binary rather than the hex. How they do that is by at the very beginning of the script it finds out how big this number is. How big 10 is. And it does that by setting set dash a and you'll see this in the script actually if you look. It takes one and it shifts it over to the left once. And it becomes a two. Is two bigger than ten? No. So then it does it again. Is four bigger than no? And it does it all the way. Well, I should do three. Is eight bigger than ten? No. Is sixteen bigger? Yes. Two binary sixteen. And you notice, uh, to binary 10. You notice uh, this one is placed over here, right? Um, the significance in that is all these bits added together is this bit, is one. Uh, so these can only add, if all these were one, that equals 15. And if you add one, then it's 16. There's one bit right here and all these are zeroed out. Remember how I was saying that's how we do uh, regular integers? If I said that in this video. Huh. Huh. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna get into best base bases and how, how we count, but I'm just showing you what's going on in the script. Because it, it's, it's, I hope you don't try to, you wanna modify it because it's not fun pretty. Anyway, uh, ba -da -ba -da, 16, 10, 10. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, no? Uh, what was I saying? Help me out. F binary. Six, oh, oh, oh yeah. So at the beginning of the script, it uh, finds out what number is bigger. And we find 16 is bigger, so it has to be uh, one of these numbers below 16. So then, um, what's it do? Since it knows that this is the highest bit, or possibly the highest bit, because it could have been uh, 8, 7. Yeah, it could have been 7, I believe, because it, uh, 8 would have been... Right. So then it takes uh, this bit, and it moves it all the way to the right. And you can see that by set a a v equals uh, ten ten and move it all the way to the right, which is four. And it keeps track. Oh, four. Sorry, three. Because if you move it four places, it's zero. But if you move it three, one, two, three, then you put that one bit over here. If it was a zero, then it would know that it was a zero and it would move to the next bit and move it over and pretty much that's how it works it keeps on pushing these bits all the way over and then uh, checking the least significant bit 
Uh, next time it would do the three, it would move it over three times, and it would zero out everything except for this bit and decide if it's zero one. And then it would move this bit over once and check and see if that bit is there. If it's there, then it adds it to F binary. So basically it would start out as one and then it would find out that the next bit zero, then one, zero. Uh, same with the hex, except I believe the how that works, it actually waits and uh, F binary might do the same. It waits until you have all until you have four bits added up. Uh, the significance in that is uh, let me give you a big number two bin two binary uh, one oh three uh, maybe bigger number oops a uh, big number like this. Uh, let's just go to the hex real quick because it's easier. Uh, but well, yeah, let's say it's easier. So this is eight. Um, so we say eight plus set dash a v equals eight plus, and this is a uh, four. However, you got to note where it is. Hmm. Oh, I'm going about this wrong. Sorry. Uh, see these eight bits? I well, actually see these four bits right here. This is eight. Do you know why? Uh, well, if you don't know, you need to figure out why binaries, how to count binary. And over here, this is uh, four. Do you know why? Again. But basically, you take this, uh, these four bits and you place them right here. Take the next four bits, you place them right there. Next four, next four, and that's uh, that's actually how that's actually how the hex was uh, added up. Uh, you'll see that in the little script. It'll eventually get down to somewhere it says something like hex add-on. This was actually added on after the fact uh, because I needed, I wanted it. Uh, so it goes down. It tells you all sorts of jumble, blue, blue, and then uh, it it gets out of that. And then again later, it will end hex add on. Oh, it's possible it's uh, staying in there until it does get up uh, four bits, and then it sends it off to. Does it send it anywhere? Yeah, call. So then it calls uh, add bit to hex, and uh, pretty sure I have that too. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah. Notepad. All right. And then it sends it to the script, and it actually sets a verbal, um, which the script does use. Because, uh, check this out, R hex, no hex, oh yeah, right, R hex 4 bit, right. So basically what happens, it gives it a uh, 0 through 15 number, and then it goes in here and says, oh, well, either make it less than 10, if it's less than 10, then give it its uh, number, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals R hex bit, or if it's over 10, in hexadecimal, uh, they give 10, 10 equals A, 11 equals B, and down to 16 equals F. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Uh, if you count 0, that's 16, but anyway, I guess that's 15. Fabulous. All right. So that's how that works. Uh, and then it sets uh, the hex uh, right there, right, right here. Set hex. Okay. And then what's it do? Uh, if it's less, uh, set bit four. If it's okay, so it's uh, setting the index so that we know, uh, so that we know 
which uh, bits we are on, the low bits or the high bits, because we're uh, collectively it's going to use eight bits, eight bits, right? But it's important to know if we're on the low bits or the high bits. Uh, again, there's a lot of math. Well, there's some math involved. It keeps track of what place it is in this whole number. So it makes sure it knows that it this is the fifth spot. It knows that this is the eighth spot, four, eight, ninth spot. Because um, that's very important. Because this one placed over here is very different from being placed right here. Right? Uh, so it goes end hexagon. on. All right. And the binary function. This is pretty scary, guys. I actually did look at this. And I actually did try to figure out what I was doing. However, I need to figure out... I'm pretty sure this is exclusive or. Or ant. Exclusive or. Which uh, basically opposites whatever is over there. I know that's not very scientific. But... Um, honestly, I'd have to play with this a little bit. But whatever happened it, it made it work and uh you know you get out of that stuff and you go back to the hex add-on what for checks what uh short circuits <laughs> not sure why again this is terrible programming right you can't say not sure why never never do that guys that i mean that is that is why people don't like going after people and working on their program. Um, but this was as I was learning 2012, I guess. And it, it was a terrible, terrible thing to do. Uh, please don't do the same. Learn from my mistake. Okay, so... Uh, Apparently there's some weird math in there and I didn't know what was going on. But somehow it worked out. Don't 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 expect it to always work out. <laughs> uh if uh so again it's making sure that the uh index of four bits is somewhere and based on that it keeps on going. Uh go to skip. Where's skip? Skip. So it goes down here, and what's happening? Okay, so 4-bit num. Oh, see? It's adding this 4-bit num. It's just adding it as an integer. And uh, index and on. So it subtracts the index of... So it's actually keeping two variables. You know, it makes sure where the 8-bit and where the 4-bit is. I'm not sure if the 8-bit is the only 8-bits or the actual whole number. Uh, but moving on, uh, if offset equals negative one, go to add four bits. Jumps here when program is okay. So equals negative one, go to. So it only reaches here uh, when it's equal to negative one. Huh. Well, I'll I'll leave that to you guys. Anyway, if it reads here, program's done. That's cool. I, I give some a little bit of help. I mean, a little bit. So the uh, program's done. So then it goes to if offset equals negative one, go to EF. So again, it just reiterates this. If equals negative one. If offset equals negative one. Else, oh, oh. Apparently... Wait, if equals negative one go. If equal negative one go to EOF. Huh. Well, I guess uh, there's some extra, extra logic to get to skip end, and then it does this, and so there's a little bit more uh, complexity in my exiting strategy, which is not good. Uh, but then it gets to EOF. Woo! Uh, ba -da -ba -da. so then it echoes everything and I don't know what this is uh, echo. oh um, I want to get rid of that just echoes random bits in uh, C bin uh, 
might want to edit that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's not save. I don't know what I was doing. If I did anything, rather. So anyway, if you want a cool batch integer to hexadecimal to binary, or actually it does hexadecimals to integer, if you uh, please. So you check this out. OX23 uh, and BAM! Just like that. Is that cool or what? And it says uh, that's the hex and that's the binary and that's the integer. Uh, it does not do binary though because you'd have to program that in. Because <laughs> obviously that's a decimal. So cool! Um, how can I end this? I, I saw something pretty fun. Oh, oh, before I end it. Uh, the Dropbox will have both of these. You need both of these. Uh, I would suggest throwing them in the C System 32 uh, folder. And then you can use uh, two binary from any place in, uh, what do you call that, command line. Sorry, I've been using, you know, shell, uh, Linux base and stuff. Lots of fun. Or GNU Linux, you know. Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da. Yeah, that's it. Um, if you don't know binary. Man, there was a cool quote that I wanted to use that used 0 and 1. Um, if this looks like... There's, there's, two pe there's two kinds of people. Those of the those of you, oh, oh, oh. It, it was written like this. There is ten kinds of people, and then it said, you know, those who, you know, something, and those who are something else. And the kind of the funny in that is there is ten kind. People would say, oh, there's, oh, oh, there are ten, two, bleh. let me just write it out. The tens, of, there's, are those, <laughs> those who, uh, no binary, and those who don't. Okay, so can you read this? There is, oh, that's supposed to be R, that's why. I do know English well, I just, I'm in a tizzy. There is ten. There are ten kinds of people: those who do, those who know binary, and those who don't. Um, if you know binary, then this will make sense. If you don't, this will not make sense. I I thought it was fun. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave a link in my description, and have fun with this thing. Uh, you know, comment. You know, tell me if you liked it. Uh, feel free to ask questions uh it will be painful for me to try to answer probably maybe but you know i'll probably give it a jab because i'm kind of responsible for putting this out <laughs> anyway um yeah guys god bless you um take care Bleep.